Hey guys, how are you? Happy Friday. I'm so, so excited that it's Friday. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> no idea at all. So, uh, if you don't know me, my name is Amanda Schmidt and I help people who are new to watercolor uh, make art that they love and have a hobby that lights them up by teaching them uh, pieces and little bite-sized steps. So this is a perfect um, project for you if you're ready to paint something that's a little bit Halloween-y um, and super easy. Um, and uh, something that even like you could do with the kiddos, it would be really, really fun. Um, so let's see. So if you're here, say hello. And like I said in my uh, little um, description, let me, it's spooky season, I feel like officially. Like it's like really, really feeling like fall. And I know we're a few weeks away from like Halloween, but um, I still feel like it's very fall-like. And this is like when I bust out like the spooky movies that we always um, play every year. Uh, oh, hi Debbie. So let me know what your favorite spooky movie is because um, we kind of bring out the, the regulars that we watch every year, but we're always open to new suggestions, okay? Um, I don't necessarily like horror horror, like gory horror. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but um, I do like scary and spooky, like ghosty. Those are my favorite. <laughs> so let me know what your favorite spooky movie is. Um, here, and I'll put mine in the, well, it's hard to decide. What, what is my favorite spooky movie? Mm. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll put the one that I like watching each year, like as a tradition, and that would be Signs. I don't know why. Um, we love that movie so much at Halloween, because it's not like, well, I think it kind of takes place in the fall too, so that might make it a little bit more Halloween-y. Um, Okay, so yeah, so let me know what your favorite spooky movie is. So, um, speaking of spooky, we're going to be doing a spooky spider, okay? So, this is going to be so much. Oh, by the way, if you're painting along with me, you're going to need two colors. You're going to need, uh, a, I'm using a bright, bright green, so the brightest green you have, um, and a purple. Those are the colors I'm going to be using. You're also going to need a little piece of a plastic wrap. Okay, um, so if you don't have something, if you don't actually have plastic wrap, um, just get something that is sort of plastic wrap-ish <laughs> that you don't mind getting a little bit of paint on. You can probably wash it off because it's watercolor. Um, so, you know, but you do need a little piece of plastic wrap. I was doing that technique um, back in the summer with a, a youth group on like a virtual uh, paint time. And I was like, okay, you need plastic wrap in the... Like the majority of the kids are like, we don't have plastic wrap. I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. Like a lot of you guys are like so eco-friendly and I'm proud of you. Um, and you don't have plastic wrap, but I, I was, I didn't even think about people not having plastic wrap, but anything that you could like crinkle and lay on top of your, your watercolor will be fine. Okay. So this is what the first step is going to look like. Um, but I let it dry. So I'm going to show you our first kind of layer of what to do. Um, oh, before I get started, be sure to sign up for the $5 uh, watercolor workshop. We're painting, painting polka dot floral pumpkin. That's our project. It happens on uh, August, August, good gravy, October 11th. Um, I've gone bonkers, <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, it happens October 11th and um, it's only five bucks. So the, the link is in the description and um, it's super, it's going to be so much fun. It's just one evening. So by the time you um, get done with uh, our little workshop, it'll probably be like a couple hours. Um, you're going to have a piece of uh, fall art that you are going to be wanting to display. So it's only going to be five bucks. Please sign up uh, because it's next weekend. So don't like, Think, oh, I'm going to do it. Believe me, I know you. And I because I know myself, I will forget. So I know you're going to forget. So don't forget and um, sign up for the $5 watercolor workshop. Okay, I'm going to take some clean water and 
with my biggest brush for this kind of thing, I like to use just a big brush because it takes less time to cover up your paper here. I'm just gonna wet my paper a little bit. It doesn't have to be like puddles because we're gonna be adding more watercolor on top. Um, but we wet our paper and then um, I'm going to start blobbing in my color. And like I said before, um, I'm only using two colors. I'm using uh, my brightest green and a purple. So if you have a bright green, mine's gonna be like, a, um, I forget what the actual color is. It's a, like an apple green, it's really cute. Um, so if you have other ideas for colors, please um, go for it, do it. I just think purple and green are really a cute like Halloween color scheme. I love it. So I'm just going to grab some green and I'm going to like literally just blob it in wherever I want. There is no really no wrong way to do this. So this is going to be the background of our spooky spider. OK, so um, let's see. So let me do a little bit more green. And like I said, guys, if you are popping in. Be sure to say hello and tell me your favorite spooky movie. Now, these are spooky cute. These spiders are going to be spooky cute, I promise. I promise. All right, I'm going to grab my purple now and blob it in. I don't want to mix it in too, too much with the green because purple and this green are going to um, make a very muddy color. So I would avoid mixing the two a whole lot because... Um, you're going to lose that purpley color and the green too. All right. So I'm just finding all my little white spaces and I am putting in my other color. Now you could do, <clears throat> uh, let me know, have you ever used uh, metallic watercolor or glitter watercolor? Somebody, who was that? Somebody just recently showed me they found glitter watercolor and I was like, oh, I need to get some because if you have um, metallic watercolor or glitter watercolor, um, then this would be a perfect project to use. Um, you don't watch spooky. That's OK. <laughs> you know what, though? I say spooky, but really any other Halloween time movie like I know a lot of people love um, like the uh, Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin and uh, oh that was a good one okay so yeah so any I you can give me your favorite Halloween ish time movie how about that Mary <laughs> yeah I know a lot of people don't do spooky I do definitely all right so I've covered up my um, piece of paper here with my purple and my green. Everybody, you could do 50 of these and they're all going to look completely different. You're going to have 50 different looking pieces. Um, so don't feel like you did it wrong because there literally is no wrong way to do this. So I have uh, my paint. It's still wet. It's still, um, you know, shiny. I can tell it's still wet. While it's still wet, I'm going to take my uh, plastic wrap and I'm going to start sticking it onto my paper. Okay, and you can reuse this piece of plastic wrap. There's no no reason you have to throw it away. You could keep it in your art stuff and use it again. Um, so as you can see, it kind of starts making these really cool lines, and I think they look a lot like kind of spider webby. Okay, so there you go. That is the first layer. Okay, that's all you have to do. The hard part, here's the only hard part, you have to wait to let it dry, okay? So, um, but it doesn't take too, too long. It really doesn't. Um, so you have to let it completely dry. Leave the plastic wrap on the paper. Don't take it off until you know it's pretty dry. And you can kind of tell if you like lift up a corner and um, the you can tell there's like a little layer. If it's still wet, there's like a little layer of paint that will like just kind of go. Um, if that little layer of paint is still there, it's not dry. OK, um, but leave the plastic wrap on it until it has finished drying. Uh, otherwise, you'll lose those cool lines and you won't have the um, the texture. Oh, hi, 
Hi, Dana. How's it going? Good to see you. Lee, oh, you know what, Dana? That's actually, she, Dana says um, she thought I was doing leaf veins. You could, that's actually a great idea. That's a great, <laughs> a great thing that you, we could try. Um, well, why don't you try it? Try it and then post it in on Snappy New Day. Um, they do kind of look like leaf veins. Hmm, that's a great idea. Isn't art fun? Everybody sees something a little different. It's so fun. Okay, so fast forward, Julia Child's pulling the um, finished turkey or whatever out of the oven. I did one earlier um, and let it dry. Okay, so no, I will say I kind of rushed uh, letting it dry a whole lot um, because I, and I can tell because the lines aren't super crisp. I like them to be a little bit more crisp. So, oh, hi, Ellen. Good to see you. Yeah, Dana, totally try that for leaves. Oh, hi, Ellen. Ellen is from California. Is it? I heard it was, it's been really, really hot out there, I think. Has it cooled off at all? I'm in the Midwest and I've, it's been lovely. It's been almost too chilly. I'm like, hey, now I can't. I can't do too chilly. Um, swap out. Oh, yes. Sorry, Dana. <laughs> I, I missed what you were telling me. Not your fault. All me. Yes, the swap out. It's the finished dish. <laughs> I'm Julie Child. All right. So, sorry about that, guy. Guys, cooler but hotter than usual. Okay, well, I hope you're on the downward trend. And I hope all those, um, I don't know, I haven't really watched the news a whole lot today. I hope your wildfires that you guys are dealing with are improving in some way, shape, or form. And I hope you're not near those, Ellen, okay? <laughs> all right, guys, so the next step, um, if you're just joining me, hello, hello. Um, by the way, before I finish my um, spooky spider scene, uh, I wanted to make sure you knew about the um, polka dot floral pumpkin watercolor workshop. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Um, it is happening October 11th at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay? So if you're Pacific Time, it's 2 o'clock. All right? Um, but it's only 5 bucks to sign up. It's one little afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it is for you. A couple hours, and I'll teach you how to do this polka dot floral pumpkin and I'm also going to give you a tracer so you don't have to draw anything so I know it drawing the drawing piece for a lot of people is oh hi Leah good to see you yes I haven't seen you live in so long either or <laughs> I haven't seen you pop up in my life so long either um, but I will give you a tracer for this um, when you sign up so uh, you can have it ready to go and you don't have to draw I know drawing can be a real um, a real like sticking point when people like want to make art they want to paint um, and they, a lot of people tell themselves they can't draw so and, and I get it. Like, I don't want to, I like the painting part. I don't, I'm not a big, I, I don't like drawing some things, sketching things out, but I like the painting part. I don't necessarily want to do the drawing part. So I get it. So I will give you a tracer for the polka dot floral pumpkin. And, um, and that will make it so easy. So all you have to do is come and enjoy and paint. Okay. So October 11th. Okay. So here we go. Let's do our second layer um, or the, the fun spooky spider part of our little project here. Um, and if you're just joining me, I am doing a spooky spider web with a spider. Um, and this would be really fun. Actually, this would be really fun. I always say this because it's true. This would be make a this would make a very fun card if you are into like sending people cards um, uh, for Halloween. All right, so um, this would be a fun card. This would be a fun project for to do with the kiddos. Um, so yeah. Oh no, Dana. <laughs> so Dana, sorry, I, I'm going to share your story, Dana. So Dana, Dana did. Speaking of um, watercolor workshops, Dana. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm skipping ahead. You need a black marker of some kind. I am using a sharpie. Um, you can use whatever you have. Um, 
I like the Sharpie. I mean, I've done it in finer tip um, pens before, um, and those make it look really kind of webby. But I, one, I want you to be able to see, and two, um, I do like the way the that nice dark black Sharpie line looks on um, the watercolor. Okay, but Dana uh, painted with me. Golly, when was that? That seems like so long ago. We did um, watercolor quilts. Um, and uh, she did an amazing job. And I know, I think you you framed yours, right? And she said that her hers had fallen on the floor and broken. Oh no, that's a bummer. I hope, I hope the, the painting itself wasn't messed up. I hope you can reframe it. All right, so you're gonna do a few lines. I just did four, you can do more than that. I wouldn't put them too close together, okay? So leave a little space, all right? Uh, and by the way, guys, share your favorite spooky movie. I need spooky movie ideas. So I put my favorite in the comments. So if you see my comment earlier, that's my favorite spooky movie. Um, all right, let's do a couple more right by the edges here, okay? So you're gonna start at a corner and you could use um, a, a ruler. This girl doesn't have time for a ruler. Just draw some lines kind of radiating out from the from a corner. And you could do more than one corner too if you wanted to. Um, but I just usually do one. All right. So now what you're going to do is think upside down U's, okay? So I'm going to do a little upside down U and then keep going, making a new U for each little space. Does that make sense? So we're starting our spider web. So I like to kind of keep them fairly evenly spaced out. They don't have to be perfect. I mean, a lot of spider webs, they seem pretty perfect, but there's there's a little bit of variance between their, their little rows of their, their web, you know? So actually I am, um, now let me know if you are, you're different than me. I actually like most spiders. Like I don't mind a spider. I don't want them crawling on me, obviously. But um, I, uh, I think they're cool. And the, because partly because, especially when they're not in my house, I mean, yeah, but they, um, they have a job, you know, they, most, most um, spiders, as far as I know, you know, they, they have a job, they eat bugs, they eat mosquitoes, whatever. So I like anything that seems to have a job. So I like spiders, but, um, but I get it. I know a lot of people don't like spiders. And if I see a spider in the house, you might think I'm weird. If they're really tiny and they're not anywhere I have to like be like sleeping or anything like that i'll kind of let them be like if they're, if they're in the basement i just let spiders be but um i mean if they're if they're really large and like where i am like sleeping or like bathing or something like that they need to go but i usually don't kill them i put them outside <laughs> now i can't say i do that for every bug but i don't know i feel like spiders they i don't know there's a i have a thing about killing spiders i don't like Maybe it's just squishing them. I don't like. I don't like it. But um, but also, I think they're cool. <laughs> so you know, there's that. All right. Um, so let me know. Are you a spy? Are you afraid of spiders? That's what I want to know. That was a long way to say. Are you afraid of spiders? These spiders will be spooky, cute, not spooky, scary. All right. So I like to leave one of these like um, I don't know, radiating lines. Uh, a little bit longer out here on the uh, edge. Um, oh, let's see. Oh, thank you. Oh, good. Dana will reframe her picture. Good. <laughs> uh, that seriously does. That workshop we did for the watercolor quilt seems like forever ago. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, oh, thanks, Dana. Dana said my workshops are fun and so informative. That's what we go for, especially the fun. Um, Leah. You're the same way about them, yes. I don't mind them. Yeah, no roaches, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> yes, I I'm not a big roach. Okay, no. Um, I will also. Uh, let's see what else do I say? I feel like I save. I guess it's mostly spiders. We don't get at too too many bugs in our house, luckily, and we live like pretty much in the country. So knock on wood, we don't have too many bugs. But yeah, I've saved. I've saved many a spider. All right, so now we're gonna draw our little spider. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a little line down, and then I'm gonna do a smaller little dot circle, whatever you want to call it, and a larger circle. I'm gonna color it in, and a sharpie makes the coloring it in uh, a very quick job. Now, you, if you really wanted to, watercolor friends, you could um, do this black detail with black uh, watercolor. Um, but the thing is with black watercolor, it's not, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's not as bold as like an ink. So I, that's why I like to use, um, pen or marker or like even India ink that would work. Um, giant ghost crickets. What's a ghost cricket, Dana? <laughs> but, oh, I don't know what a ghost cricket is. I'm going to have to look that up. That sounds horrifying. <laughs> oh, Dana's got ghost crickets. I forget. Dana, you're going to, I know, I should know where you are. I'm sorry. I can't remember where you are in the world, but ghost crickets sound Absolutely horrifying. All right, so we have a little circle and a fat circle, all right? And now we're gonna do our legs, all right? So I'm gonna do, think like angles or L's, okay? So I'm gonna do an L pointing up for the top legs and then an, some L's, oops, I did it the wrong way. Oh well, we'll do it, we'll do two that. I usually like to make the top legs facing the opposite way. I messed up. That's okay. All right. And then there you go. There's our spooky spider. Oh, he's got little crazy legs, don't they? Um, yeah, I think you're right, Dana. Dana said that um, black water color doesn't have the depth. It's, it is flat. You're right. I mean, we use it for you know certain occasions, but something like this where you need it to really pop it, yeah, it's not my go-to for sure. All right, so there's our spooky little spider. Um, and, uh, oh, I was gonna tell you too, what I remember one time um, we we had just like, or we were finishing building the house. And we I was like sweeping off the front um, porch stairs and there was a huge uh, black widow. Now, luckily, I don't think we've ever really seen maybe but one more like out in the yard somewhere. Um, but uh, it was a big old black widow, like the big red, like, um, what do you call it? Hourglass on its back. Oh, and that, now that, that spider got squished. I'm like, oh, no, no, <laughs> we, are not, we are not doing black widows around here. No, thank you. Uh, all right. So here's the deal, guys. You can leave this as it is. Um, and before I finish up, $5 watercolor, poke it up, pumpkin. Polka dot floral pumpkin. That's what this is. Polka dot floral pumpkin. Um, it's $5. October 11th, 4 o'clock. There you go. Even if you sign up and you go, oh my gosh, I missed it. It's okay. You're going to have access to my replay in the in the group. You'll, I'll let you sign up for the group um, for uh, until the 17th. All right? So no worries. Um, you'll have just as much fun watching the replay, I promise. Um, so there you go. So you can do some lettering, all right? Um, I found a really cute little saying, and this is, I'm gonna write it, you guys tell me if you like it. Um, Odina says, you're in Maryland between DC and Naples and Baltimore. Oh, well, that doesn't sound like a place with crazy ghost crickets. <laughs> I thought maybe you were like in, I don't know, some, some place quite rural like Montana or something. All right, let's do, I'm gonna put, I wish I would have left a little more space for myself. If you're gonna do lettering, try to leave a little more space for yourself. I did not do that. 
Um, or, let's do, hopefully I have enough room. Can you guys see that? Creeping it real. <laughs> so fun. And you could actually do a couple spiders. So you can do another little one. For sure. Actually, yeah, you could do as many spiders as you like. There we go, eight legs. Are those fun or what? All right, that's it guys, that is it. That is our spooky spider um, project for tonight. All right, how about that? It, it, and now let's see, I don't know what time it is. How long have we been going? Not that long, this won't take very long, especially if you don't yammer like I do. Um, Oh, you should make them for the grandbabies. They would think that those are so cute. Okay, so I have, this reminds me, doing a spider web like this um, reminds me, I, I don't know how old I was, and she probably did it more than one year. My mom um, uh, made me a t-shirt one time. It must have been like for the day of the Halloween party at school or something. Um, are the videos available? Are you talking about this video, Dana? Because if so, I can totally share it to the group for sure. Um, and actually, that was something too. So Dana, Dana's asking. Okay, uh, you might get, if you're looking at the comments, you might wonder what the Watercolor Co. group is. That's my uh, private online watercolor community. Which, by the way, um, is uh, sorry, my box looks like it's breaking. Um, my Watercolor Co. is opening the doors very soon, but only for like a few days. Okay. So, um, check out what, Oh, here, I can't even show you watercolorco.com. Okay. So that's my private online, um, watercolor community where I share a, what a monthly watercolor project. You have a video library. I have their bonuses, uh, very often. Um, and it's where, uh, people can join and come and paint and add some color and confidence and community through painting with watercolor. It is so much fun and it's such a great group. Um, and she was asking if I'm going to share these lives to the group. And you know what? I was thinking, it crossed my mind, Dana. So if you're interested in me sharing these lives into the group, like, most of the time, I am I am totally okay with that. I wasn't sure what people, um, uh, oh, you were talking about the polka dot floral pumpkin. Yes, actually. I was going to send an email tomorrow telling you guys that uh, all the people in the polka dot floral, uh, sorry, all the people in my watercolor co group um, will get to join the uh, polka dot floral pumpkin for sure. So yeah, that'll be a bonus for being a watercolor co person. Uh, yeah, good question. Sorry, I misunderstood. I must have misunderstood what you're saying. Yes, you will be able to join me for the floral polka dot pumpkin. Okay. So yeah, be looking on, uh, be looking out for email watercolor co people. All right. So you definitely can join me. That would be amazing. Uh, <laughs> so, um, oh, um, I, I got sidetracked. There's so many things I like to talk about when I come live that sometimes I get, um, I get forgetful as where I am. Um, oh, I know what I was saying. I was saying um, the the web. My mom made me a cool T-shirt that had like this water or uh, my goodness spider web on like the the front of it. It was so cool. <laughs> I thought it was so much fun. So I. Uh, I definitely, um, I don't know. I like doing these webs around Halloween. It always reminds me of that so much fun. My mom is super crafty and she did many, many of our uh, Halloween costumes. So there you go. And then some for sure. So anyway, guys, so um, thanks for hanging out with me on Friday. 
Uh, I was looking forward to this all day, actually all week. Um, I tried to not wait all the way till Friday to come live, but it was just those, one of these weeks. So here you go. So um, be on the lookout, my friends, for this, especially this coming week. I'm going to be coming live a lot and sharing a lot of uh, autumn, fall um, kinds of little projects and mini projects. Okay. So there you go. Oh, good. I'm so glad you like this one, Dina. These are so much fun. They are awesome. And uh, if you didn't hear me before, guys, when you do the um, the background, uh, if you have metallic watercolor, you can drop that in or glitter watercolor. Um, you can drop that in. Um, it would look really cool. So I've done I've definitely done that before. It just um, I, I didn't bother doing it here because it's hard to see. Um, but in person, it would totally make a pretty sh shimmer. Okay. So there you go. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Have fun with these guys and, um, feel free to paint with paint these with the young kiddos in your life. That would be a really fun project. Um, yeah, there you go. All right. I will see you guys later. Uh, $5 floral polka dot floral pumpkin watercolor workshop. It happens on October 11th. This is what it looks like. All right. So I hope to see you there. Um, sign up before you forget. I know. <laughs> I'm promised I'm not being pushy, but I know how I work and I won't remember to come back and sign up. I'll, it'll be out of sight, out of mind. So the, uh, the sign up link should be in the description. So if you're curious, just do it. It's five bucks. It, even if you end up like really not enjoying it, it's five dollars and you tried something new. There you go. All right, guys, I will see you later. And um, yeah, happy painting. Bye.